been pretty uneventful. I did go to the rodeo parade though, and it was alright. It was rainy, which wasn't too bad. Um, just got dripped on a little bit, but um, most be best thing, most best, best thing was this necklace. It's pink, super cool. I have a job interview in about 30 minutes at Panda Express, and I don't even know why I applied there, but I don't know. If I need a job, I'll work there. Um, but before I have that interview, I'm going to go drop by Axner and drop off my job application. So, come along. At Panda Express for my interview, but the most important thing about any interview is what you wear. It's not, it's not your resume, it's not your first impression, all that's crap. No, it's what you wear. If you notice I'm wearing a collared shirt, it's kind of required, and I have black jeans on. But, the most important thing to wear is the right kind of shoes. Notice tennis shoes. But those aren't dress shoes. Yeah, you're right, they aren't. But, they have a smiley face on them. Who cares what they look like if there's a smiley face, right? Yeah, it's how uh, it was stopping. Do you care if I did? I was honestly kind of terrified for a second. I don't think I did, did it? No. Unless that right there oh, no, is mine. Better. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's always good. I was actually kind of terrified for a minute. Um, you drove all the way to Anderson and didn't get me fuel? No, I don't have money, Mom. You had my card. I didn't know I had your card. And it's a I didn't know I had it. It's okay, Jacob. Love you anyway. You want me rock star now? Um, I'm gonna go in and buy donuts in a sec, so let's see what she says. Can he get a rock star, Mom? Is that okay with you? Even though he can get you gas. I had to ride across the street. I'm getting rock star. From the safety of his own house. <laughs> you didn't shave for your energy. Goodbye. Get him off again. You know what I got for all that? Rockstar. It's worth it. I don't know if you know what I had to do, but I had my mother's uh, debit card. She was trying to get gas, and she didn't have it, so I had to ride across the street and bring it to her. You'll see. Or you will see the time you watch it. But now I am going somewhere. I don't know where to do something. I don't know what. First I need to put this thing away. sidewalks to ride on so if you can deal with the brakes and the sidewalks it's pretty nice 
I can deal with the brakes on the sidewalk now. I think that I've found where I'm going to set up camp for about, I don't know, about 10-15 minutes. There's this hill coming up, and it's not huge, but it'll uh, let me get a little bit higher than surrounding areas. So, I'm going to give that a shot. If that doesn't work, then I might just go to the soccer park and do it there. I think this is where I'm going to set up shop for now. Behind me there's some cool stuff. It's cool stuff kind of all around me. Except for the wall behind me. That's not too cool. So I've set up camp at the top of this hill. Over here you will see that I have my time-lapse rig set up to um, shoot this beautifulness. Just look at that pretty. And the most important thing The most important thing is obviously right here with the caffeine. The sun has come out literally right as I put my tripod into my bag. So I had to like take my tripod out and put my jacket in and it was a whole deal. And yeah. Riding down a hill, vlogging and drinking Rockstar. I'll probably die. So where I'm at is kind of in between Big League Dreams and the Reading Soccer Park. I kind of think it's stupid that they named them both separately when they're really part of the same thing. I don't know why they just don't call the entire thing the Reading Sports Center. I mean I guess they do but they also call it Big League Dreams and the Reading Soccer Park which is kind of dumb. Is you just call it the same thing and even if you're new just tell them your your son or daughter's game is further south for soccer or further north for baseball and softball behind me looks like there is looks like the turf which they put on the fields because it's fake grass and they use way too much of it they use way too much of it on the soccer field fields, plural, the four, which are over to my right. I'd also assume that they use way too damn much of it on the baseball field, which is to my left behind me. But I've never actually been over there, so I'm just assuming. So there's actually a bit of people at the Reading Soccer Park. That isn't too surprising, because... It's not too surprising, because it is Saturday, and there usually are people there on Saturday, but it's like almost 7 o'clock, I think? And there's a lot of people there, so if I had to guess, Probably wrong, but maybe not. Um, is I think it's Megan Rapinoe's soccer clinic, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I did, I do kind of recall hearing something about Megan Rapinoe giving a soccer clinic at the Reading Soccer Park. Actually, no, I recall the announcer at the Reading Rodeo Parade saying something about Megan Rapinoe giving a soccer clinic. But I don't know where it is. It would make sense for it to be at the Reading Soccer Park. And so I assume that is what is going on there. Quick bit of trivia. I am walking on Airport Road. And the thing with Airport Road is it's usually sketchy to ride a bike on. Because there's no shoulder for you to ride a bike on. And you have to be really careful about the cars and not move. You have to be very predictable. And of course... I'm walking along Airport Road, and if you're walking, you're supposed to be on the other side of the road going toward the traffic. I'm not, I'm going with the traffic. So it's kind of sketchy. And all the cars don't move over, so they don't care a bit about your life. So you kind of have to watch over yourself. It's kind of, kind of annoying. I have switched phones from my good phone to the phone that I don't care about as much. There's a couple of the puppies. Hey puppies. I was just walking along and I looked over and saw this incredible rainbow. There's actually two of them. I don't know if, you probably can't see it through this uh, phone camera, but I can see it. But the cool thing that I, that I learned about uh, 
rainbows is that the perspective that you see is unique. So what I'm looking at with my own eyes and what the camera is seeing is actually slightly different because of different orientation of where the sensor is compared to my eyes. Even though it's about probably less than a foot, it's still different. There's a really cool YouTube video that actually explains it. So I think I'll link that below so you can watch it. But it's actually kind of cool. Rainbows are pretty unique. you've ever seen because I think that thing's pretty cool. That has got to be one of the sketchiest things I've ever done. Huge hill. I'm not super good enough to ride down it at speed, so I am wearing the crap out of my shoe just to make sure I don't die. But I'm good now, I think. I'm good as long as there aren't any potholes that I'll absolutely just eat it on. The rainbow's still there. That's kind of cool. At least I didn't fall off the thing, I ran off. That's good, right? This road is uh, old 44. Usually it's quite a bit of fun in a car if you know the road, which I do. But on a longboard, it's actually like pretty scenic. As in this bridge I'm about to go across. There's a creek there. Changes over there, there's like nice houses and power poles and a rainbow. I will not be going 25 miles an hour up this hill. You can go 25 mile, miles an hour up this hill if you have a car, but I don't have a car. So cue the walking. I've come up with a goal for myself for this vlog. I've decided I'm going to make it to Palisadro, which is about eight miles from my house. Once I reach Palisadro, I'm just gonna call one of my parents and yell like, hey, parent, come get me. It'll be exciting. And they'll probably wonder how I got all the way out to Palisadro and I'll just be like, you know what? I'm persistent. <laughs> I wanted to go there, so I went. Hopefully that's how it works. And hopefully I don't have to ride the eight miles home. That will not be fun. Okay. Now it's time for more hills that I don't want to go full speed down. Actually, I might be able to swing this one. So long as there aren't any huge ruts. Okay, I'm not dead. Thankfully, there's this uphill hurt section to stop me. And hopefully, well, not hopefully, thankfully the bridge was the same piece and not separate, so I didn't die. That's always nice. You know, the hills on Old 44 actually aren't as hardcore as I thought they were gonna be, so I'm actually able to ride down probably all of them, except for the last one. There's absolutely no way that I'm riding down that huge hill on the Palace Drill because, I don't know, if you pay me, I'll do it. Only then. But I'm not getting paid, so I'm not gonna do it. Hello puppies! Coming up on our right will be the fake uh, Ponderosa pine tree. Notice that 
tree is actually a cell tower. You know, kind of interesting, I guess. Don't forget to say hello to the wild turkey. I'm so close to being in Palisadro, it's not even funny. I think once I get to Palisadro, I'm going to go to the high school and maybe ride around there. Because, you know, I've always wanted to ride on that campus. And, you know, it'll be fun, I think. There's a car coming, I'm going to move so I don't die. But, yeah. Almost there. I am in what I would classify as Palisadro. Pretty sure wedding, Christmas school, RCS is in Palisadro. So I'm gonna say that I'm there. Don't forget to give me a round of applause. I'm hoping that there's canned applause. Now I've done some stupid things, and I think one of the stupidest things I've done is ride the foothill, but my sister's name is on there, and I have, you know, proof of it now. Ever since I've gotten a longboard, I've always wondered what it would be like to ride it on the track. And turf, but that's later. So, I'm here at Foothill, and I have a longboard, so why not give it a shot? Also, you're about to witness how bad I am at punting footballs. Get ready, it's gonna be spectacular. It's very slow, but smooth. It's cushiony, which is why it's smooth. And it's also the same reason why it's slow. It makes sense that the turf is slower than the track because there's bits of rubber in it. But I didn't expect it to be that slow. Just just watch. Guarantee if I try to jump on this thing, I'm just going to fall off. The turf is not ideal for riding longboards on. This is the part of the vlog that I like to call Let's see how much random crap I can find in the bleachers. A bobby pin. Unfortunately, this door is locked. Another door handle that is also unfortunately locked. Some security cameras that actually look like testicles. A bottle cap piece of paper with writing on it, caution sign that I have not listened to nor do I care about, a trash can with water in it. This is the part of the vlog called how far can I slide on the wet bleachers. Let's see how far. Turns out pretty far. Watch as I attempt to ride my longboard down the ramp. Well, that's an annoying sound. It's kind of disappointing that I didn't find anything exciting in the bleachers. I was hoping for like somebody's phone or something, but usually people tend to not leave that thing r lying around. Probably smart of them. Watch as I kick a field goal. Watch as I kick another field goal through what is quite possibly the most crooked field goal in all of the world. Turns out speed bumps are pretty annoying for not only cars and their occupants, but also people on longboards. Because I guess they do their job as and they slow you down. 
There's a fire truck! Cool! Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I don't need to be judged by you. He's just keeping it on. And I'm calling. 